And welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Special K. I'm Spot. And I'm Fuzzy. Today we're going to be reviewing uh, Bud Light Seltzer Lemon Lime. It's 5% alcohol by volume made by Anheuser Busch. Uh, this this comes in the four packs, um, 100 calories. Uh, sorry, not four packs. It comes in 12 packs uh, of the strawberry, lemon, lime, black cherry, and mango. Mm -hmm. um, they also come in 24 ounce cans, uh, but I've only seen those in two flavors. I haven't seen yeah. those in four flavors. So, um, lemon, lime, all right. I'm we'll see. Yeah. Um, mm -mm. Oh, it smells like piss. Uh, <laughs> compared to the mango one I had earlier, I can't smell it from here, so I guess that's a good sign. I don't that's know. It smells pee. like dog, dog piss. That is straight pee. <laughs> yeah. Dog piss. There's no other smell. No, she was, she was on, spot, like, spot on. <laughs> I, okay, I, I feel like this is Bud Light just kind of... This is Bud Light's take on an inside joke after everybody's saying that their beer tastes like this. Right. <laughs> I hope so. It's only this is gonna be like okay. It might be. It might taste better than it than it smells. It's clear. It's a seltzer. Yeah, let's let's do yeah. it. Mm. Yeah. It tastes better than it smells. It almost. It tastes like really weak Sprite. It does. <laughs> like it tastes like Sprite. Water, it tastes like, like watered down ice. Sprite. Yeah. Like you had ice in a cup. With the sprite, and then you're just yeah, drinking the just, leftover. It, it, yeah, it's watered down sprite. It does taste better than it smells, which I'm thankful for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. You, I, I, I feel like there's a little bit of a funk there at the end. Mm -hmm. I think it's probably the fake fake lime they're doing. Probably. Um, mm. Either that or just where the smell just kind of asserts itself over your tastes. I kind of like this one. It's good, but I don't, the, like the I don't know. It's just yeah, the the, the, the really smell good. is a little off-putting, and yeah, and again, I'm getting that funk that's just there at the very end. It's just kind of mm. maybe you mixed it with some sprite. That would help. A little bit of Flintstone <laughs> vitamin too on the nose. What? Flintstone vitamin? Ah, I, mean, I guess so. A little don't bit. Don't insult That weird like that. Uh, like, <laughs> kind of tart. Funny. Yeah, yeah. Citrus like 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 a uh, vitamin C. Mm. Yeah, yeah, like. Um, it's one of those things I keep on saying. I keep on saying Sprite, 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 and that's all I'm tasting. It's just really weak Sprite. They keep the ingredients pretty simple on here: water, yeah. cold fermented cane sugar, natural flavors, citric acid, and malted rice, which is Bud Light. Yeah. So they use rice in this, just like Bud Light does, yeah. which is a better. If you're going to use a filler, especially if it's something you want neutral. Uh, rice is a much better filler as opposed to corn because yeah, corn has more of a buttery that would, flavor. That would be funky if they use. Well, a lot of them Corn did, like, Four yeah. Loco, I'm pretty sure, probably did. Probably. You're probably yeah. right. Um, All right. Less than one carb in this bad boy, it says. I mean, yeah. It's, I mean, I guess it's good if you're trying to watch your figure and everything. But, hey, yeah, but, you I'm know. Sure, like, better it's options, though. New, <laughs> new year, new you. I mean, if you want to. We have some craft seltzers in there later that are, like, high-end craft beer Ooh. seltzers we're going to try that are some, like, right, more so interesting that. flavors. Yes, yeah. That sounds so we'll get on those at some point. This, I think, in my opinion, is a six and a half. I like mm -hmm. it as much as I like the strawberry one. Um, it's a good seltzer for what it is. It smells not very appealing. But in, in the seltzer market, it's what you want. Very light in flavor. Yeah. Nothing funky in there. Um, no paperiness, no fake flavors, not a lot of sugar. It does yeah. have 100 calories. You can literally have a Bud Light for 95. But hey, Which is really fun. It's funny that yeah. this has more calories than a typical Bud Light. It has more flavor, too. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong about that. It, 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 it has more flavor, more calories, and it smells just as bad. Yeah. I think so. that smells worse, to be honest. Like, that is straight, <laughs> like... A dog had an accident and tried to clean in the smell state in your house. <laughs> yeah, I mean, thank God it doesn't have like a strong ammonia. Yeah, to, to cat pee. Cat pee's um, worse. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm probably going to give this actually a four and a half. Um, a lot of the other Bud Seltzers have been kind of middle of the road for me, <laughs> and this one has had Don't the first one that has a has had a very offensive smell. I mean, when I say offensive, it's not just like oh god, I can't stand it. It's just one of those things of it is it is slightly off putting, um, but overall, it's drinkable. Uh, what about you, Spot? Uh, I'm gonna go with a five. It's not like the worst thing I've ever had, but the smell just completely. No, I can't do it for the smell. Yeah. The taste is like, like you said, it's like watered down spray. It's not really a thing that wows me. They have a short shelf life. This just came out three days ago. It's May is the shelf life. Oh wow! It's only like five months, six months. Mm. Mm. That's, that's, that's pretty that's, short. That's weird for water. Yeah, I mean it's water with no hardly anything in it. So I wonder, I wonder how an old seltzer would taste. 
Steel? What is an old, have you ever had an old seltzer? Like it's been sitting around for a while, like in a can, does, do they taste weird? I don't know, I usually just drink them as soon as I, I, I but I should, Yeah, I should have known with you. Um, if you're into if you're into the seltzers, um, you know so far the 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 sampler pack has been okay. And if you're a seltzer person, you're gonna like them. Oh yeah. Again, Anheuser Busch was very smart in the marketing, putting Bud Light same on them as opposed yeah. to starting a new brand. Which I'm surprised they didn't like lump these in with the Ritos. Well, right. the Ritos are super sugary. So. Well, yeah, yeah, but I feel like. Um, and they're not very good. The, I think these are better than the Ritos. And the I mean, Ritos yeah, you're probably you're definitely right there, but. I feel like the Rita line would fit these better, especially considering the market that they're probably going to go towards. You probably could get one of these, like a strawberry, one of those, and a strawberry Rita, mix it together. It would probably take away all that clawing with sweetness in the Rita. Maybe, yeah. And make it uh, less yeah. disgusting. Maybe. Because that's the Maybe. reason I can't handle them. But all right, that's been our episode. If there's something you'd like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment down below. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'm Special K. I'm Spot. And I'm Fuzzy. Thanks for Thanks watching. Thanks for watching.